welcome back to bio school this is gayatri in today's session we are going to learn in details about lethal alleles so let's begin what is the meaning of lethal lethal means something that can cause death right now the lethal allele lethal allele means if an individual have lethal allele then that lethal allele can cause death of an individual okay so we can write as allele which can cause an organism to die is known as lethal allele so what is lethal allele you know the certain genes that are highly essential for survival in case if that gene get mutated then that creates lethal genes or lethal alleles then the point is you know the alleles are two type one is dominant allele and other is recessive allele so lethal alleles are also of two types what are those one is dominant lethal allele and other one is recessive lethal allele dominant lethal allele that means lethal allele is in dominant form in dominant lethal allele form the single allele is able to cause death single dominant allele let me write down the single dominant allele allele is enough right that means both heterozygous or homozygous alleles cause lethality recessive lethal alleles are the lethal alleles which in recessive form cause death of an individual okay so here only homozygous for the alleles cause lethality recessive allele it cause the death of an organism when it is present in homozygous form this is the basic idea if it is a dominant lethal allele then single copy is enough to cause the death of an individual that means both homozygous and heterozygous form cause lethality but in case of recessive lethal alleles homozygous form of lethal allele is essential to cause death of an organism so first we will understand recessive lethality okay we will take the example of coat color of mice in mice genotype capital a capital a is responsible for a goatee coat color and genotype capital a capital a y this is responsible for yellow coat color okay so let's first cross two yellow coat color mice so what we will get we will get capital a capital a okay and other one is capital a capital a y capital a capital a y similarly another one is capital a capital a y and the last one is capital a y and capital a y okay now we'll look into the phenotype and here we are discussing about the recessive lethality recessive lethality means if the alleles are present in recessive form then that will cause death of an individual okay here we are talking about the mice so find out the recessive lethality means the alleles should be present in homozygous form look at here the alleles are present in recessive homozygous form right that means this mice it cannot survive this mice will die look at these two these are heterozygous okay heterozygous condition in heterozygous condition here you will find the mice will survive here the mice will survive because of heterozygosity here this gene is lethal but for lethality the gene is recessive for lethality the gene is 
recessive but if we will talk about the phenotype then this is in dominant form this is in dominant form and this will form a yellow color mice phenotype will be yellow color here also the phenotype will be yellow color understand what is the recessive lethality in recessive lethality if the alleles are present in recessive homozygous form then that will cause the death of an offspring okay so in simple word in recessive lethality only the homozygous form will die and the heterozygous form heterozygous form will survive with a distinct phenotype okay now comes to the dominant form in the dominant form it will show its color that is agouti right now we will find out the phenotypic ratio okay so what is the phenotypic ratio is here you get two yellow mice and one agouti thus this modifies Thus, it modifies Mendelian monohybrid F2 phenotypic ratio. Right? What is the Mendelian monohybrid F2 phenotypic ratio? That is. 3 is to 1 here the 3 is to 1 is modified into 2 is to 1 okay so this is about the recessive uh, lethality in human the examples of disease caused by recessive lethal alleles are uh, cystic fibrosis okay now we will understand about dominant lethality okay in dominant lethality, as I told you, the single allele is single dominant allele, single dominant lethal allele can cause death. That means here the heterozygous individual will not survive. Okay. Here both homozygous as well as heterozygous individuals will die. Okay. But in recessive lethality, only homozygous recessive individuals are prone to death. But here both homozygous and heterozygous individuals. You know, these alleles are not commonly found in population. Dominant lethal alleles are not, are not commonly found in population why because they usually result in the death of an organism before it can transmit its lethal allele to its offspring so in population dominant lethality is usually not found okay Okay, let's understand this uh, by taking an example. So, in human, a disease is known as this Huntington's disease. It is a rare neurodegenerative disorder that ultimately results in death if it is present in homozygous dominant form, then the individual will die. Also, if it is present in heterozygous form, also the individual dies but what is the difference 
in Huntington's disease. Those individuals who are in homozygous form for dominant lethality, they die before born. Okay. So early onset of early onset. But the individual who are heterozygous for dominant lethality or the individuals who are heterozygous for Huntington's disease in those individuals okay, late onset. Okay. So the individual with heterozygous genotype can survive up to they can survive up to 40 years and the affected individuals then undergo gradual neural degradation until they die because of the late onset is able to maintain in the population because they do not show any symptom most of the patients they do not show any symptom till the age 40 if they do not show any symptom till the age 40 during that time the affected individuals may have a family thus these dominant alleles inherited into the offspring okay hence these dominant alleles inherited to the offspring and maintained in population so in population if you will find an individual of Huntington's disease the individual is heterozygous for the disease okay so let's find out the ratio in F2 generation if we will cross then so he, as he, here we are talking about the dominant lethality that means the individual who is homozygous for dominant lethal alleles will die okay and those are heterozygous they will also die but here in Huntington's disease the, the symptom or the lethality is shown at later age about 40 okay and those individuals or those offsprings are heterozygous they will survive they will survive so here the mendelian monohybrid f2 phenotypic ratio which is 3 is to 1 is modified into 2 is to 1 right two individuals in heterozygous and one individual in homozygous okay this individual is lethal for the dominant allele but the lethality is late onset okay so from here we conclude that genes not only influence phenotypic character but also affect viability of individuals and those genes are known as lethal genes okay so this is all about lethal alleles hope this video help you in understanding what is lethal allele what is dominant lethal allele and recessive lethal allele why mostly in the population dominant lethal alleles are not found if you like this video then please do share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel bye bye see you in my next video till then keep learning